back at it again. One more time. Let me set my coffee. Let's do this. Because I know I'm gonna be like super animated or whatever. And I am going to spill that coffee if I uh, put it up here. So, um, well, since the last video, uh, it's been a while uh, because I went back to work. Um, I was previously off work. I don't know if I mentioned this before, I probably did, but uh, I was previously off work um, on medical leave because I had, uh, I had uh, major surgery. Um, actually, I, I had my hip replaced, so it took me out of the game for a little bit. So um, hopefully that will be an encouragement to um, other people uh, who go for the same surgery, knee surgery, hip surgery, whatever, and you're like, well, this guy can do that, so, you know, sorry about the S-bomb. So, anyways, um, uh, I, in the past two weeks, I went back to work, so work schedule's been kind of hectic. Um, I had planned a stealth video um, for today, but I'm going to do kind of a, an unboxing. I don't know if an unboxing is typically stuff that people send you. Most of the ones that I saw, that's what it was. Or if it's like, you know companies send you something to um, companies send you something am I recording yes I am okay companies send you stuff uh, to use in your videos or whatever and um, so uh, but I went to the store and actually got some stuff there was some stuff that I wanted to get um, based on some of the stuff that I wanted to do and you know it was stuff that I needed and was stuff that um, is gonna you know how we do like better videos and it's you know I mean I know it's not a new video camera I got a new video camera it was a janky piece from China that you know was inexpensive and um, it was missing parts and it was just the video quality was nice but it was just it felt like it was made out of like crepe paper uh, and I was afraid that if I looked at it the wrong way, it would break. So um, the words of everyone's grandfather and father ring in your ears when something like that happens. You get what you pay for. So here I am. But anyways, let's get to what I got. I got some stuff that I really needed and really kind of wanted. Um, and so we're going to go over it. Um, Wait a minute, where's that? Give me one second. <laughs> okay, so, um, my flashlight crapped out, so I wanted a new flashlight. So, I got this Coast flashlight. Um, it is, uh, and I took pictures of these, so I'll put a picture up so that way you can see it, because I realize I'm pretty far from here. It's, uh, it says it's, 1400 lumens bright and it has a range distance of 869 yards so that's uh, that's quite a ways and it's like one of those ones like the old uh, cop flashlights where you twist the end of it and it kind of focuses or narrows the beam so that way you can like see a really long ways so I'm gonna open this bad boy up and we will see what is what. Let's just put that over there. I mean, it allows you to test it out. It's got like a little test light button. Whoa, splash. In it. Uh oh, packaging. Crazy. So this is it here. Mm hmm. Has a little button on the end that you push for the thing, and then when you turn it on, you're supposed to be able to like, there we go, like focus the light either into a wide beam, into a narrow beam. So that's pretty good. It's uh, it's really sturdy. So I like that sturdiness. So there's that one there. Let's see what the packaging says.
has on here. It says it takes six double A batteries, which came with it, so that's a good value. It was like it was like uh, twenty five bucks. So, but when I tested it in the store, it was really bright. So that was important that I, you know, have a light that you know really is like super bright and you know. So that's it there. That is that one. Let's see, let's stay on the light mode. The other thing I really wanted was a headlamp. I didn't have a headlamp. Um, something that you know you can use without really um, using your hands, you know what I mean? That big flashlight, you gotta kinda use your hands with it. This one here was made by Swiss Tech. And um, I like this one because it's rechargeable batteries, so I don't have to buy batteries all the time. The other thing I really liked about this was is it's got different modes on here. Uh, it says blood tracker mode and different lighting modes, so that way when you're, well, if you're doing a stealth a stealth camp, you you know, you don't really have to worry about um, someone seeing the light from a long distance because you can switch it into a low light mode. Um, which I thought was really good. So, let's take this guy out of here. Okay, there's the USB cord. It's a regular USB. Just kind of see about this here. Okay. Oh, so it's got a little thing that goes over the top of the head. And I imagine this is the back. Looks like it is probably waterproof because it's got a little rubber seal on the back of here. It's got a little rubber thingy that pops in and out where you plug in the, the little thing. Let's see, this kind of fits over the head like this. Oh, and it like can angle down so you can kind of, cause you don't look directly at things. Sometimes you angle your eyes down. So this, you can aim it kind of down like that. And I guess that'll get right in front of you or out in the side. So you can see it angles, it doesn't, it clicks, and it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty sturdy. Let's see what the light is like here. Whoa, here we go, that's good. And then it's got a low level light one. And oh, a flasher, that's nice. Oh, and then it's like a purple light. So I guess that's like a black light. Well, that'd be kind of cool. You can light up, uh, you know, any of the little white plants around you, but that's not really gonna go very far. And it looks like there's like four of them up there. And then it's off. Oh, well that's cool. Nice. All right. Well, I like that. That seems pretty cool. It's got the instructions, I guess, with it. Probably tells you what the black light is good for. Mm -hmm. Headlamp. Rechargeable. I should probably have my should probably have my reading glasses. <clears throat> Since aside from the hip going bad, the eyes are not far behind. Recharging the battery, care and maintenance. All wonderful stuff, I'm sure. Oh, it says blood tracker mode. So it's kind of like for hunting. So if you're like uh, out hunting, uh, out hunting wabbits, you can, uh, if you hit one and you don't know where it went, You can track it by following the blood because it shows up differently under ultraviolet, I guess. So that is all good stuff. I like that. And it's, it seems like it's pretty waterproof too. It's got like little rubber grippy things on it. So yeah, that is a quality piece of equipment right there. I think that was like uh, $28, I'm pretty sure. It was like. It was either twenty-eight or thirty-four dollars, one of the two. But I mean, 
this is like it's pretty sturdy pretty sturdy and it's I, I can't wait to try it in the dark to see what the you know what that looks like okay here we go so I got one of these guys before um, in the same company uh, I got it for my iPhone so that way when I went in the kayak you just put the iPhone in this guy here and then uh, you seal it up it's got a little rubber gasket so when you seal it like that and it's got a little clip on it so you clip it onto your boat or your belt or whatever and the phone is in here you fall in the drink which I do quite regularly I'm kind of crazy so uh, it's got seals in it and then the phone doesn't get ruined so I thought that would be a really cool thing to have and I saw they had a bigger one and it was on sale so I got this guy here and they make another one that's even bigger than this which I'm gonna get too for when I get my new camera and they kind of put a little hard rubber loop on this one so but this is pretty good this was like five this was like five and a half bucks, so that's not too bad. But um, it says uh, IPX6 tested. So whoever that guy is, he tested this thing. So I have no idea. Small watertight case made by Outdoor Products. So of which, I mean, I'm already a fan. I got one here, so. And I can put, you know, I don't know what I can put in there. I can put something in there. Eventually, I'm sure electronics. I'll probably put uh, my spare batteries and a couple of cables. That'll probably be like a tech kit thing because for those of you who like to film like, you know, lawn videos of your kids doing stuff in the woods and around rivers and ponds and lakes and lions and tigers and bears, oh my, you'll mess up some stuff pretty easily. Okay, so. I got a water filter. This is something that I really wanted to get. I really needed to get because I don't really have a water filter and sometimes it's a pain in the butt to carry bottled water with you or you know some type of a, a full water bladder when you know nine times out of ten you're right around a lake or whatever and so you can put the filtration system to work for you. Um, it will screw on to a bottle. It came with a little thingy in here, it says. So I'm gonna open this guy up. There we go. Oh, so it came with this little water squeeze system. There we go. There's like a cap for this guy. And this is pretty small. That'll fit like right into your backpack. So there's that. It's got a, looks like a syringe. A 50 milliliter syringe. So I'm not sure what or how or why that works or what it does, but I'm sure this little thing will tell me. Oh, okay. It looks like it fits on here, maybe. Maybe it fits on here. Uh, I'll read the directions. I'll get it figured out. Yeah, so, I don't know. It doesn't appear to fit either of the orifices here, so flow. Uh, it tells you what direction the water flows that way through it. So you gotta bring the water in this side and out the other side. So. But this I know, that'll fit like a little rubber tubing. So, I mean, that's another thing I could probably throw in the little pack but it has some instructions and let's see here yeah it has some instructions on the inside helpful hints tips and tricks so that's cool I will read that guy later but uh, it gives us you can put the squeeze bottle in there apparently you can just like put the water into this, you fill this guy up, you screw this on, and then you squeeze the water through, and then it's got a little thingy there. So that's handy. It's this. Oh, that kind of fits right over it. Oh, so that probably, and you probably bet, probably fits over that one too. So, 
So interesting. I like that. So we'll see how that guy works. That'll be good. And it looks like you can. Oh, this is a straw. Okay. So you can actually put the straw on here and then you can suck the water through. You gotta make sure you do it in the right direction. So, so that's that. And you can also hook it up to if you have a back backpack bladder, you can put it on that. So I'm just gonna set this back in here for now. So that's good. I like that. All right. Ooh, this one was a good one. Let's get some coffee. Mm. Uh, the same company that makes the little waterproof cases that I got makes this. This is a waterproof uh, dry bag. Now, I got the big one because I saw a couple of people that I follow were using these things. It's made by Outdoor Products. So let's set this box down here. And let's see how big this guy is. That's a pretty big bag. So, apparently, put everything in here and, and then you're supposed to like, once you get everything in, you roll it up like that and then the top has these latches. together like that and that keeps your junk dry so that's cool that's going to be useful for probably like the blankets and clothes and stuff like that anything more or less water sensitive it looks like it has you could probably like I don't know that seems pretty sturdy might be able to pick it up by that too so that is cool. So, all right, next. Now, I don't have it right here, but I uh, believe I did a video where I showed my shovel. You know, on my stealth video, my other stealth video that I did, my first stealth ever where I was, uh, I tried doing a Dakota fire hole on that one and this is a folding shovel. I tried doing a Dakota fire hole video on that and my shovel broke. Well, it didn't really break, but it bent. It severe, severely bent. So I got this guy here and this looks like a pretty nice one. It already, I can tell is already, I mean, it's a little bit bigger than mine was but it's a lot sturdier. I mean, the sturdiest thing about mine before was the was the uh, the handle that screwed together. So this is pretty good. So this it just twists this up right there, and then you got your shovel. So that's good. There's a little serration on the edge here. I don't imagine, by the look of it, it's really good for anything, but, I mean, it looks really cool, so there's that, um, but the shovel part, the shovel part on this one is, like, uh, way, uh, way thicker mill of steel than the one that I have, so, or the one that I had, so, and apparently, much like the one that I had, you and twist this down and change this into trench mode. But mine just had the straight, this was a straight handle and it just kind of 
kind of screwed in there. This one has like an actual, that's a sturdy handle right there. This whole thing is, this is pretty sturdy, so. All right, so you'll see me use that later, but that's not bad though. Apparently, you just kind of loosen this down. Oh, I see how it works, because I was wondering about the, the handle was like kind of felt kind of loose. This kind of has like a rubber uh, a spring in it or something. Pull the spring up and then you can fold this one down as well. So I guess you can trench like this too. So that's pretty cool. It's got like that position. Pull this down. It's got that position and then that position. So, which this position arguably could be said to be the same kind of, I guess, as this position right here. But, you know, let's fold, and that folds into there. And I guess, I guess maybe this folds into there. Oh, and then you can fold it back the other Okay, I think, I see. And then tighten that little sucker down. And I'm wondering, this looks a lot bigger. But I'm gonna try and see if I can get this into my actual because it didn't come with a it didn't come with like a little case. So I'm gonna see if I can get that actually. Yeah, there's no case or nothing in here. So I'm gonna actually see if I can use my old case and I'll see if I can't get this into my old case. I might be able to do that. So there's that. So that that's that's cool. All right. Next, for my next piece, oh yeah. Well, these will be quick. I just, I got some more paracord. You can never have too much paracord, so. Um, and I don't know if I, I might have, I might not have though. Um, with my paracord, I basically, I have like a little system that I use, um, and I have like one of the bags, um, I have like a, uh, an old bag that I got when I purchased some pillowcases and some sheets or whatever and they come in like a little stuff sack type deal that they come in and I use that stuff sack um, much like that uh, these things that come in stuff sacks so this is a bug net yay because um, bug season is upon us and the bugs are waking up and they love campers and especially stealth campers because stealth campers go into the areas where um, the bugs think that they're hiding from the people that might swat them or spray them with chemicals so um so but this just goes over my hammock and according to uh the directions that come with it it uh you put up your the you put up the hammock and then you slide this over one end, and it's really, really fine, really finely, um, oh, it's a stuff sack that comes with it, okay, and it stuffs into its own sack, how candy is that stuff, okay. So, but you can see here that you can see through it, but it is, there ain't no, no little teeny tiny buglets getting in there. So even the bugs in training that are smaller than the actual bugs, actual bugs may appear a lot a larger in person. So they're not getting through that, but that is just primo equipment right there. Oh yeah. And then this guy. This is something that uh, I was kind of looking for for like a while. And you had to buy like a full size chair and the thing that it came with um, was a footstool or some such thing. And I really didn't want to buy like a $40 chair and just to get the, you know, the little stool. So this thing right here was like, I think like 12 bucks or something like that. Um, I could be wrong, I will double check, and if I'm wrong, I'll put the right actual price in there. But I mean, 
for what I was looking for, this was all day long what I wanted. This is a called a backpacking chair. Um, the, it's the Ozark Trails brand, but you can see it fits like in this little thing, and it's it's like this this little small guy that um, you know what I mean. Uh, previously, previously, like my chairs were like all like these big suckers, but this one here comes with a little bag to put it in. Apparently, that's how you wrap it up. See this? Oh, that's the seat part. Oh, it's got some little Velcro holdy things to kind of keep these together. And will I lose that? Nope, that looks like that is stuck right to it. Oh, it's kind of like the tent. All right, so it's kind of like the tent, so check it out. You, you just kind of like roll that sucker around. And the little strings hold it into place. It's got the legs, let's see here. It's got the little leggies on it. And, let's see. Oh, that's probably gonna go up into, all right, check this out. This is gonna go probably like that. And then, like, this, let's get this up for you. There we go. That one goes there. I'm back here. All right. And then this one goes, oh, that's like a finger loop. It's got like a little finger loop to pull in. Noise. All right, and then this one goes over here. And then, yeah, and these are made of steel too. These aren't made of like aluminum. So, you know, probably a little bit heavier than uh, most backpacker dudes want, but I'm telling you, this is choice. So you get to see me use this guy here for sure. So that's that's cool. And it like fits like in the smallest of bags. And it feels pretty sturdy too. So that's cool. That is very cool. I like that. That makes me very happy. Now, here's the part that, uh, here's one of the things that I really was, uh, was kind of looking for. Um, I mean, I've seen them used and I didn't have one, but I kind of really wanted one, you know, um, just so that I would have another option. You know, it's not always kind of an option to start a fire wherever you are because of, you know, weather conditions, the, you know, terrain. I mean, you don't want to start, you don't want to burn the whole forest fire down. We kind of love the outdoors and we're not going to ruin it. So, but this is a Peak One by Coleman. And I'm not positive, but I'm going to read that instruction thing on there. Um, they sell these things here. This is a blended fuel. Um, so they have multiple sizes. I got this size and, oopsie. I got a bigger one, so, but, um, these are kind of cool. I was thinking that, uh, that I could put a piece of, like, duct tape around here, and then I would have two cells, or, you know, if I was to get, like, three of these, I could basically, you know, do the same thing, and just keep them together, and then I would have three, three, like, separate cells, um, but... Let's give this bad boy a try. I'm gonna we'll open the little one just in case. I don't know if it's gonna. So this comes in here. All right. So we're gonna go like this. Let's get this guy open. Here we go. So I really, um, really was looking forward to this. So it's, oh, okay. I see. So. Look at that, it opens up into three little things there. I don't know if that's important or not. Well, it is on the package, so. Oh, maybe that's to, probably a heat shield of some kind. 
Alright, so if I understand from what I've seen on the interwebs, this screws into here. Uh huh. You know what I wonder? I wonder. Make a path through all the flotsam. Give me one second. Okay, so I have some various pants. This is a little. I, don't know, it's, I just saw it on sale in the. I don't know in the, the regular grocery store, but it's a little cast iron pan. So I thought it would be perfect for making like egg sandwiches and stuff. So, but look at that. It fits right on there. Peak One by Coleman. And they are a dedicated and tried and true, everybody knows, outdoor supplier pot. Okay, so check this out. This is the, the Billy Pot, right? So this sucker, bada bing. It's got little teeth on here too. So the little teeth will keep it, I guess, doing whatever. I see some of the guys, they have like problem with the wind coming in. I was thinking about like making some little like just a windshield thing out of uh yeah i don't know like some kind of a a weightless like kind of semi-rigid they have some like insulation some silver insulation um bubble wrap stuff that i thought would work really cool and then all i gotta do is just get a stick while i'm there and i can roll the bubble wrap thing up and it'll weigh nothing it'll be like a small thing but then when i open it up i can put it kind of around this here far enough out that it's not going to melt the bubble wrap but I don't know we'll see um, I'll figure something out um, but this is cool so that'll work like that and let's see here's the big one let's try the big one well looks like it kind of it holds it so it's kind of wobbly but I suppose if you get it just right, that's not exactly centered. So if you get it just right, I guess it'll kind of work. I don't think it was intended for this guy. So, but this one definitely. So, and, and this thing, I don't know how heavy this is, but I could probably tell you I have a scale over there for weighing food, so. But, yeah, this is a little bit lighter. And this says that this is, no, that's the quantity. Well, whatever. It's a little bit, a little bit, uh, oh, it says it's self-sealing. Okay, so maybe that means that when I take this nozzle off, it's not gonna totally jank me up. Oh yeah, and speaking of my cookware, um, I got the big, the big pan, which I got a while ago, the little pan, and then I got this guy here. So when I'm in the regular campgrounds, not when I'm stealth camping, but, when I go and do like a regular camp or I take the Jeep out into the woods and I do a, you know, a big woods camp somewhere, it's like, you know, I'll have this stuff here um, to take with me so that that way I can like do some like some proper cooking or whatever. So I'm looking forward to doing that. That'll be cool. But let's try this guy out. So, all right. So just turn the nozzle. Oh, I hear it. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, you just turn it, you can turn it down a little bit. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's cool, but it's kind of like, man, it's kind of cool. I like that. Don't want to run too long in the house. Carbon, carbon monoxide, don't you know? Okay, guys, well, I'm looking around me at the mess, and I'm thinking that that's about it, so, um, yeah, uh, 
So I'm gonna go and do some scouting um, for some locations and find some places that I wanna go. I wanna make sure that uh, if it's a place that I can kinda go to, what, what it's gonna be like there. Um, uh, if it's a place that I'm not supposed to be, I want to make sure that uh, I've done the uh, legroom on that part of the equation. So, um, oh, wait a minute. Here we go. I got this guy too. Now, I got this initially because I wanted to have something to put like you know, food into that would stay cool, and I saw it was kind of insulated, but something that, you know, would kind of, like, squish down, so this kind of, like, it came all, like, folded up, you know, and it zipped together and folded up, but this is that silver, like, stuff I was talking about for running the drill, but, um, but yeah, and then I realized after I got it that it is not a cooler, it's actually a heater, so, um, I guess, I guess this is probably something that somebody who does like DoorDash or, um, or uh, Uber Eats or whatever would get for their car. So if you do DoorDash or Uber Eats, you can pick one of these guys up at, uh, at Walmart. It's a Type S and you just basically put, uh, you put whatever in there and you seal it and then you can plug it into a USB jack and it keeps whatever you got in there warm. Or, you know, if you're a, maybe you're a dad coming home from the office and uh, you want to bring mom and the kids food so that they're not sitting there, uh, or your wife isn't bent out of shape at you because you're getting home late every day. I won't go into the reasons why you'd be late every day coming home to your wife. But, you know, that's, that's not you. In any event, this has been just a little short kind of unboxing to kind of fill the gap of, um, of video filming. And, um, and so no matter where you go, there you are. So um, still the one and only leader of the Where the Fuck Are We Tribe. Um, I'm going to try to put a link in my description for this stuff here so that way you know what it's called where to get it etc etc um i um don't know what else to say that's about it so if you like the video please um you know give it a thumbs up or you know click the like button as they say um subscribe make sure you hit the notification button so you're alerted to when i have new videos released um, and, uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.